പ്ലെയിൻ ഡിഫ്രാക്ഷൻ ഗ്രേറ്റിംഗ് സിംഗിൾ സ്ലിറ്റിൻ്റെ കേസ് നമ്മൾ ഡിസ്കസ് ചെയ്തു അതുപോലെ ടു സ്ലിറ്റ്സിൻ്റെ കേസും ഡിസ്കസ് ചെയ്തു Now we are discussing the case of a large number of slits. Grating is an arrangement of large number of slits of equal width separated by opaque portions arranged at equal distances. When wavefront is incident on grating surface, light is transmitted through the slits and such grating is called transmission grating. Now, grating, diffraction grating, it consists of an optically plain glass plate upon which large number of equidistant parallel lines are ruled now lab il upayogikkuna oru diffraction grating inde chitram aanu idu it contain 6 lakhs line per meter 600 lines per millimeter so ithrayum adhigam lines rule cheyidittulla equidistant parallel lines ulla oru glass plate niyana nammal grating ennu vilikkunnu it's used for the determination of wavelength of light ee line rule eda sthalathude light kadannu pogilla rendu line gal kedayilude light kadannu pogum so it will be equal to large number of slits instead of two slits here large number of slits are there theory of plane transmission grating ee transmission grating lude light kadannu pogunnadana ee chithrathil kaanichirikkunnathu The grating is shown by XY and the screen is shown by MN. Let XY is the grating surface and MN is the screen. The width of the slit is A and opaque space between the slit is B. This is the point A, this point is capital A, this point is capital B and this point is capital C. width of the slit is represented by small a it is another slit it also has the width small a idin randri medayilulla opaque region light kadannu povatha region it is represented by b now the secondary waves traveling in the same direction as incident ray will be focused at the point p consider a beam ഡിഫ്രാക്റ്റഡ് അറ്റ് എൻ ആംഗിൾ തീറ്റ നേരത്തെ നമ്മൾ പി എന്ന് പറയുന്ന ഒരു പോയിന്റ് ആണ് എടുത്തത് ഇൻസിഡൻ്റ് റൈഡ് അതേ ഡയറക്ഷനിൽ ട്രാവൽ ചെയ്യുന്ന എല്ലാ റൈസും പി എന്ന് പറയുന്ന പോയിന്റിൽ കോൺസെൻട്രേറ്റ് ചെയ്തു ഇനി നമ്മൾ കൺസിഡർ ചെയ്യുന്നത് ലെറ്റ് എസ് കൺസിഡർ എ ഡിഫ്രാക്റ്റഡ് റേ ദറ്റ് റേ മേക്ക് എൻ ആംഗിൾ തീറ്റ ഇത്തരം റേസ് എല്ലാം കോൺസൈഡ് ചെയ്തിരിക്കുന്ന പോയിന്റ് ഈസ് അറ്റ് പി വൺ നൗ ദ ലെൻസ് ഈസ് ആൾസോ സ്യൂട്ടബിളി റൊട്ടേറ്റഡ് ടു കളക്ട് ദീസ് ഡിഫ്രാക്റ്റഡ് റേസ് അതിൻ്റെ ഭാഗമായിട്ട് ഇതെല്ലാം പി വൺ എന്ന് പറയുന്ന പോയിന്റിൽ ഫോക്കസ് ചെയ്തു ഹിയർ ദിസ് ഇസ് ദ പോയിന്റ് എ ദിസ് ഇസ് ദ പോയിന്റ് ബി ആൻഡ് ദിസ് ഇസ് ദ പോയിന്റ് സി പോയിന്റ് എയും പോയിന്റ് ബിയുടെയും ഇടയിലുള്ള വിഡ്ത്ത് ഓഫ് ദ സ്ലിറ്റ് ഈസ് എ വിഡ്ത്ത് ഓഫ് ദ ഓപ്പാക്ക് പോർഷൻ ഈസ് ബി ദാറ്റ് മീൻസ് ദ ഡിസ്റ്റൻസ് ഫ്രം എ ടു സി ഈസ് എ പ്ലസ് ബി സെക്കൻഡറി പേഴ്സ് ഫോക്കസ് അറ്റ് ദ പോയിന്റ് പി വൺ നൗ as we discussed in the previous session path difference is equal to ac sin theta and we know that ac equal to a plus b so that is equal to a plus b sin theta now if the path difference is integral multiple of lambda then p1 will be of maximum intensity that is a plus b sin theta equal to n lambda we know that in this grating what we are using in the lab there are 6 lakhs lines per meter or generally if there are n rulings in 1 meter of grating then we can write n into a plus b equal to 1 or a plus b equal to 1 by n now we have the equation a plus b equal to 1 by n and also we have the equation a plus b sin theta n equal to n lambda b a plus b ku pagaram 1 by n substitute kiya that is 1 by n sin theta n equal to n lambda or sin theta n equal to n n lambda 
This is called grating law. Dispersive power of grating. The dispersive power of grating is defined as rate of change of angle of diffraction with respect to wavelength. Let theta and theta plus d theta are the angle of diffraction of two neighboring spectral lines of wavelength lambda and lambda plus d lambda. Then dispersive power equal to d theta by d lambda. Rate of change of angle of diffraction with respect to wavelength. That is d theta by d lambda. Now we have sin theta equal to n and lambda. Differentiate this equation. That is cos theta d theta equal to n and d lambda. Or d theta by d lambda equal to n n by cos theta. We have already mentioned that d theta by d lambda is a dispersive power which is equal to n n divided by cos theta. Or dispersive power is proportional to capital N, dispersive power is proportional to small n, dispersive power is inversely proportional to cos theta. That is, dispersive power is proportional to number of lines per unit length capital N and order of the spectrum small n. Dispersive power is inversely proportional to cosine of the angle of diffraction. Now, determination of wavelength using grating. This is our lab. We can determine the wavelength of monochromatic light by using grating and spectrometer. Spectrometer is a telescope, it has a collimator. So this is the telescope represented by T, this is the collimator represented by C. There will be a prism table, we can keep grating there and then we have to do some adjustments. The spectrometer and grating is used for the determination of wavelength of light. In case of spectrometer, we will do preliminary adjustments. So, preliminary adjustments of spectrometer are made. Then, telescope is brought in line with the collimator. Telescope, collimator, or a line. We will do the crosswire slit and match in the fix. Then, vernier adjust to 0180. Vernier table is adjusted to 0, 180. That means vernier 1, 0, 0, vernier 2 and 0, 180 adjusted. Now, telescope is rotated exactly through 90 degree. A chitratil kaanana position load telescope matter. Now, the grating is mounted on the grating table. Grating table, grating fix here. Dating table is rotated to get a reflected image of the slit coincided with the crosswire. Chitratil Pakadana position load grating rotate here. So by madam reflected image namaka telescope gatum a reflected image crosswire match in the readil grating table adjust here. Now the angle of incidence is 45 degree. Chitatal can it. Well 45 degree good vernier table rotate the granal, a ruled surface will be facing the collimator. That means the grating will be facing the collimator. Now the grating is in the normal incidence position. A grating fix here. Telescope direct rate position load to the And left side and right side we are reading. The telescope made in line with the first order maximum on the left side of the central maximum. The readings on vernier table are noted. Now the telescope made in line with the first order maximum on the right side and the reading on the vernier table are noted again. And the cell reading are two. E and the reading on the difference is 2 theta. Then from that value you can get theta which is the angle of diffraction. Now you have theta from that you can find sin theta. Sin theta equal to n lambda. For n equal to 1 sin theta equal to n lambda or lambda equal to sin theta by n. 